Hello everybody. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. We are gonna break this down into numerous different videos. So if you're joining me and you're wanting to watch one of the other sections, head down to the description below. So we're opening Photoshop. We're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do some lead removal. So I'm gonna zoom right in on this particular area. There are two ways to remove objects in Photoshop. And the first one is to use the spot removal tool. So this is the spot healing brush as it were. You wanna make it nice and big and soft around the same size as the um, object in question. And then you just wanna go ahead and click and drag down. As you get to a finer area, you want to make that brush smaller. And you can see in this particular area, it's not coping too well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back out, undo using Control and Z or Command Z if you're on a Mac until the point where I was close to there. And then I'm going to switch tool and use my clone stamp tool. Again, you want to be using a soft brush at 100% and you want to clone from the areas to either side. So I'm going to use this area here. You hold down Alt, click, and then you can click and drag. And what that does is that will pull from a close by area, just like so. I'm going to take away that because it'll be too obvious that I've used that particular source. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make the whole of that removal less obvious by using a really big brush. Pull from a close by area, drop it to 50% opacity. You can press five on your keyboard or change the toggle up there. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click and drag from the close by areas, making sure you don't do what I just did and get too close to the subject. If you think it's still obvious, you can go with a really big brush, pull from a open area, uh, drop your brush to 20, 30% opacity, and just dot over that area. I'm gonna take a snapshot and show you with the lead, without the lead. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. With the lead, without the lead. And then what we're also gonna do in this image is just remove some of the distracting elements. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now by using the spot removal tool, spot healing tool. Just like that. If you like what you've seen, please, please, please subscribe. Click my face, which will come up here, um, or click the little watermark in the corner. Watch my other dog photography editing 101 videos, and please, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Join me for this fun. I'll see you again soon, and yeah, have a good week.